So that campground is the uh, Mount Alto Mount Alto picnic area, picnic campground. Um, we are in uh, outside of Boulder, Colorado, and uh, today uh, I thought we would try and do some off-roading. We're on the Switzerland Trail, um, which we take Four Mile Canyon. We get come out of Boulder, take Four Mile Canyon up, and then we're, we're hung a right on the Switzerland Trail. It's uh, late March, and uh, there's still snow on the ground. Uh, right now, the first uh, part of the trail is just some rocky uh, bits. There's still some snow on the ground. They got a couple feet of snow um, about a week ago, and but the trail is pretty much just rocky, uh, about the width of the width of one vehicle. There's um, uh, passing spots, so so far it really hasn't been anything in particular, uh, but it's beautiful out here. I just moved to Colorado about a week ago, and uh, this is going to be the first uh, off-road trail that I've done. So you just see in the distance, and uh, we'll take you along. So uh, uh, thanks for joining us uh, for another episode of Beyond the Driveway. We are in outside of Boulder, Colorado on the Switzerland Trail, and if you want to check out uh, what it looks like from my perspective in the Jeep, please stick around for the video. All right, so we are at uh, almost 8,000 feet and um, we're gonna uh, get going down the trail. There's a house right down there. You can see how far below we are. But check out these views. Now I air down to about 19 PSI. The trail is really rocky and I expect we're gonna find more snow the higher we get. Uh, so it just is more about uh, comfort on the road rather than traction. All right, so uh, three miles up from where Four Mile Canyon Road turns into S State Road 93, which is also Switzerland Trail North. Everything's pretty uh, pretty benign. It, it's not, the snow in some areas is a little more challenging than anything else, but um, nothing that a, uh, a, a capable off-road rig uh, with some good tires can't handle. I've been in two-wheel drive, except for where the two snowed in areas were. Um, and it's been pretty easy, 18 pounds, 19 pounds, and my tire seems to make everything pretty comfortable, so uh, we're gonna keep going. But here's some of the view.
Now up here at the top, I mean, the views. There's uh, camping spots. So the National Forest has a campground up here so you can come up here and camp. Um, and I would bet that uh, this place is packed there in the summertime. So they've got uh, picnic tables and grills and then the fireplace uh, for like a community uh, cookout. So it's pretty cool. So that campground is the uh, Mount Alto, Mount Alto picnic area, picnic campground. Um, so I think we'll uh, come up here uh, once it gets warm and uh, enjoy some of this, uh, these mountaintop views in the summertime. There are some ledge areas. So if you're uh, afraid of heights, sometimes these shelf roads can give certain people uh, challenges. So uh, just be aware that there are some of those. The road's not super narrow, like some of the high mountain passes out in the Silverton Telluride area, but it does have some sheer drop-offs. All right, so right toward the end of the Switzerland Trail, before you get back to 52, you can take 456, I think, to the right. It's a steep uphill. Um, but it gets to this flat plateau where it looks like there's tons of camping spots um, amongst the trees. So it would be the perfect place to come back to. So I'll kind of show you what it looks like. And then we're going to circle back and head out. So there's lots of flat spots up here, uh, which looks like in the summertime. Um, I mean, even now you could camp in different areas, so. Four fifty six is the name of the road. So there hadn't been too many people on this, so it's still covered in snow, which is kind of cool. So there's still probably about a foot and a half or so of snow up here. So it, that's a pretty cool experience. Uh, we're gonna head back down to uh, 93 from here. So we're on 456B now. 456 is the trail that you head straight up uh, the hill onto. Um, but it looks like this is gonna be some cool camping um, in the summer. of course continues or the Switzerland Trail continues north uh, but it is closed seasonally right now so they have a bunch of snow piled up um, so if you cross 52 uh, at least now during the winter time uh, you can only go about a quarter mile or so uh, before uh, you hit the snow bank and um, it's closed for that section I guess uh, as to as far as you can go so uh, we will explore some more of that um, later but th to this point um, we've had a good time hope you guys have too all right I think that's gonna uh, do it for us today we are uh, getting ready to get back to where highway 52 is and that's gonna take us back toward Netherland or Nederland which is near Eldora the ski resort and uh, we were just kind of checking things out. We went five, five and a half miles today. Uh, so nothing crazy. There's lots of trails that go all around this area that I can't wait to explore uh, later on. So hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, it's a cool place, lots of beautiful scenery. Again, the trail's not that hard. 
Um, I wouldn't come with anything that doesn't have high clearance just because of some of the rocky sections. But I mean, the views say it all. And then right where we were, where 456 intersects with 93, I think is a great place to come camp uh, come summertime. So thanks again for watching. This is Dan from Fisher Jeep Adventures, and uh, we'll see you next time.